your boy Valandis back with another. Man, we are back with another one two punch with my boy Dylan again. What's Here, up, it's your boy Valenza? Take, take the camera. What's bro. up, it's your boy Valenza? We're shooting with the RPX 3620. And we're gonna test out to see which one's better today. But look, man, we're about to shoot at this beautiful location. Look, they already got a table set up for me to put my stuff down on. So these, so these not flowers. Those are definitely weeds. So our flower, are, are weeds not a certain type of flower? Weeds can flower, but there's literally no, like, no, no. See what you just said? They can flower, but they're not flowers. They're yeah, weeds. Flowers. Those don't even look like flowers, for real. Uh, look, look. How do you grow? How, you're not about to judge a flower. Like Just flowers can yellow. look like anything. These are weeds. Bro, look at all of them. Because a flower is not a rose, don't mean it's not a flower, bro. Look, y'all see how they be? <laughs> I ain't even niggas. Flowerism out over here. So you're telling me dandelions are flowers, they're not weeds? Huh? You're telling me dandelions are flowers, they're not weeds? Bro, they could be flowers if they want to be. Okay. Who's to say? <laughs> you? Him? Them? Y'all, in comparing these two, first thing I'm gonna do is compare how quick it takes for me to shoot with each, with each one. And we're ready to go. Time this. Hold on to that tape. I guess we gonna see, right? <laughs> anyway, three seconds, that took three minutes. <laughs> so what we're gonna do basically is just pretty much take the exact same photos of Dylan. They're not gonna be the exact same because they're not on a tripod, but y'all know what we're dealing with, bro. So work with me, don't be too critical of things that's not that critical. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, bro? I'm with you. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have Dylan standing in these flowers. Weeks. And then, yeah, we just gonna take some pictures of them like that. What kind of shirt you got on up underneath there? Pause. Black what kind of shirt you got up underneath there? Pause. No shirt. Huh? No shirt. Pause. Oh, never mind. Did you trying to you trying to be shirtless in the weeds? What did you say? Trying to be shirtless in the bro. It'd be sweet. You said shirtless in the what? Oh, I ain't got on no hat today. Wow. But what I do got on is too many clothes. I know it may seem like I'm bro. It's hot. All right. One, two. Then we're gonna take the same exact photo. For people who don't believe me, the, the settings are 1 25th of a second at 3.5, 400 speed ISO. Somebody was like, I don't understand how that can be the settings on a sunny day because it'd be too bright. But bro, trust me. One, two, three. All right, one, two, three. Here, can you put your head down? Yeah. All right, one, two. One, two. You like that? Can try it down again? All right, man. All right. All right, let's go back to these flowers. Clearly, I have to take my vest off. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, step like a couple steps forward. Yeah, right there. All right, one, one, two. All right, one, two, three. For, I mean, taking pictures with this camera just the the it feels a lot like it feels better. This is like a better feeling like digital camera like out of all the other digital cameras i've used like the shutter sounds like super satisfying but just you know that sounds good bro i ain't bro it feels good like i'm going back and forth like it feels good to shoot with both of them bro this is my baby though like you no know, ride or die it died and it came back that's how you know it was meant to be that's what i'm saying though like some things are just meant to be Turn more towards your left. Yep. All right, last shot. 
One, two. Perfecto. Um, yeah, so anyway, yeah. Let's go back, let's develop this and scan it and then like kind of talk about the differences and which one I like more or just like which better suits you or whoever's watching this or you know what I'm saying? Cause there are some differences. Clearly one being, you know what? I'm gonna talk about it when I get home. There's, there's a lot of things I want to talk about. So, gonna, oh, 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 <laughs> what's wrong with him? Okay, and we are back and I've had time to go over um, the film images and the digital images. Now, before we start anything, let's get the obvious out the way. One is a digital camera. Second is a film camera. One is just a box that just creates the photos and the other one is actually a fucking computer. So two differences right away that's, you know, very obvious. Depending on, as far as like quality goes, the medium format film, the quality is very, very good, very, very high, but I also think that depends on the scanner that you have, whereas the digital camera, I think um, it just depends on the camera. Like it doesn't matter about the software you edit it in. This, it depends on the scanner you scan shit with, how you scan it, the quality you scan it at, and all this other stuff that, you know what I'm saying, that goes into completing the final image. I scan on a flatbed scanner, so, um, you know, I don't have a $20,000 scanner. So, you know, we work with what we got. So that's right off the bat. Let's just get that out the way. That's not what I'm really worried about here. What I'm necessarily worried about is the feel of the photos, how they look, and honestly, my experience with both cameras. And when I say experience, I mean how it feels to shoot with both cameras. If you're not a photographer, I'm, I find it kind of hard to explain to you what that means. But if you are a photographer, you know what it means to press the shutter down and it feels good or it doesn't feel good. And yeah, you know what it is. When you press that shutter and it takes the picture, you know that feeling that I'm talking about. And definitely ease of use. Film cameras could be harder if you're not a film photographer and you're, if you never shot film, it could kind of be intimidating and you would probably gravitate more towards a digital camera just because it's easier to use. But I think they're both um, the same amount of easiness. I think low-key to film camera is very, like a lot easier to use because it's less things you have to worry about. You, you can only do a few things, aperture, shutter speed, and that's it really. And that's really all you have to worry about. Whereas uh, digital cameras, there's a lot more to worry about and color, there's a lot of other shit. And uh, I guess on film camera, you gotta worry about loading the film. But once you do that, then it's two things you need to worry about, right? As far as like what you're shooting, that's a different story. But anyway, I'm going to talk about the photos that I got and um, how I kind of feel about them. Now, I do feel more attached to my film camera because it's been with me for a very long time. It's now what I shoot mostly on. So uh, I kind of have a bias towards shooting film, especially with my Mamiya RZ67. So um, I do love this camera, but I'm not going to lie. It feels good to shoot with the GFX uh, 50R. The shutter sounds amazing. It feels very smooth. It doesn't feel like clunky. Just listen to the shutter though. Like it, it feels good. Like it, it low key sounds old in a way, but at the same time still sounds like kind of new and just like, it's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Not gonna lie, I like it a lot. Like that, you can't get like, it, it's, it feels good. It sounds good. Like as far as usability goes with both of the cameras, I don't give the edge to either single one because I know that they're both, they are first of all made in different times. And second of all, they were, made differently and yeah so anyway whatever i like both of them i like the way the shutter sounds this shutter sounds digital this shutter sounds mechanical that at the end of the day and it's just like which feels better that doesn't really matter but at the same time it does to some people and me a little bit but anyway with my digital images i kind of edit them in a way some of them in a way that makes it feel like film but it's not film i noticed that the film it just gives you the right off the bat the film look and the film feeling that photos have when you you know shoot them on film but i'm not going to lie some of these digital images i like more than the film images and i just think that's a personal preference thing um because one the colors are different because like i said i edit my digital photos a lot different than i edit my film photos so for the sake of argument i will show y'all both the raws from like the initial scan from the film photos and then just the raw photo from the digital camera and then i guess uh just kind of compare those two and to me um if i'm if i'm going to compare the raws i would like i like the film one better because it already has the the film feel i don't have to do anything to it to make it feel that way it already comes out straight 
as feeling like film, which I like a lot. Whereas the digital camera looks like a digital photo. Skin tones are handled differently, but you know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want to those once you edit them and do whatever you gotta do to them. But yeah, I, just, I personally like the film photos just a little bit more. I feel like the digital photos are a little bit cleaner, but I like the kind of imperfections that film has. Like it not, to me, it doesn't feel like uh, like this perfect finished product. And I, I kind of like that where I felt like the digital photo is so, is so clean. It's just like perfect in a way, if that makes sense. So yeah, to me, I can't give the edge to either because I don't believe that either is better than the other. I just think it all depends on what you like to shoot with, what you prefer, and what works for you. Depending on the story I'm trying to tell, I feel like these cameras both have different stories that they can tell, but at the same time, they can tell similar stories too. I know a lot of people are like fucking freaking out that I'm grabbing my camera by the viewfinder, but I feel like the story you're telling is more important than the uh, tool you're using to tell the story with. That's just my opinion. They're both very good cameras. I do want to mention that this is six by seven, so it's a larger format than uh, four by three on the digital camera. I don't really have a clear winner. If y'all was looking for me to pick one, I can't necessarily pick one. But for the sake of this argument, I'm going to let you guys decide which ones y'all like better. For me, I'm kind of indifferent. I don't have a preference. I kind of like the film ones better just because like the feeling and just like the less that goes into it. But anyway, that is going to wrap up the video for me. I know y'all been seeing this sit right here this whole time. It's literally for no other reason than to, you know, look cool. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, please do me a favor and ring the bell so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. It is always and gratefully and truly appreciated. So anyway, um, yes, gonna get back to work now and uh, finish up some other things. Hope y'all out here having a good day. Whatever day you're watching this on, hope it's going good for you. Let's get out here and go do some shit.